Hi, in this video I will show you how to implement the min stack. Now, as usual, I will start with the low hanging fruits on how to solve this and then I'm going to build up to the full solution. So, how do I push something to a stack? Well, this basically means appending something and in this case I will say I have a variable that's called S1 and all that variable does is that it gets the val appended to it. Now, if I want to pop something, again, it could be as simple as S1, and I would pop it. And if I want to get the top value, again, it's as simple as show me the value um, at the end of the list. And out of this, I can deduce that, hmm, I need S1. <laughs> so that that's, that's one way on how do you approach these problems is find the simple, pull hanging fruits that you can already um, create variables out of and start writing it out that way. Now, if you want to get the minimum, that's where you have to start thinking. Well, if I want to get the minimum, S1 has all the values, but there's no way I could have kept track of it because I was blindly appending, popping, and returning the oh returning see just talking about it well returning the value that's uh, at the end of the stack so i would say perhaps i would need another stack and let's say i'm going to call this min stack and this min stack is supposed to contain the value of the minimum value added there so i'm just going to do self dot min stack up there and I'll just create my list. Hmm. Now I have to revisit my logic in this question. So I have appended the value, but I want you to check the min stack. Hey, you know what? If the min stack is empty, then what I want you to do is I want you to add this val. But the question begs itself, what if it's the same value added over and over and over again? Well. Perhaps you want to keep a tracker. So you can also still use the list of lists, but instead of just appending it, you will attend, append sorry this value and with a value of 1. So let's say you're appending the value 100, and this 100 now exists one, one time. But you don't want to add any value to the min stack. You also want to check that the value added to the min stack is less than the current value in the min stack. So if the min stack is not empty or the current value is less than whatever is there. So minus one. So that's the last value there and zero. So this basically will return this value right here because we're going to access the last one in this list and we're going to get this right here. So check this value right here. If if this new value is also less than this, well, you know what? Append it to the min stack. But what if it's not? What if it's equal? So in that case, you're going to just copy this right here. And let's say it's equal. And then what you're going to do is again, what you're going to do is you're going to go to this min stack and then this time you will look at this value and that in this case will be one and you're just gonna increment it by one and if val is bigger than the min stack then you don't have to do anything because the min stack already contains the minimum value okay so now we have changed this logic to accompany this new idea of the min stack now what what about popping let's let's go right to it so if that value let's let's start with right here if this value here and the min stack minus one minus zero so i'm just gonna copy paste if oops sorry if this value is equal to the last value in s1 if it's equal to the value in s1 which means that you can decrement it safely by one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into this value of minus one. <coughs> one, excuse me. 
and I will decrement it by one. Now that I've decremented by one, well, wait a second. What if I decremented by one and it actually equals to zero? Well, if it equals to zero, then I have to pop that value from the min stack. Okay, so let's walk through this part again. If I have a min stack and I look at the value that's at the top of the min stack and I look at the val, which is this value right here, and if this value equals the value also that has been added to the pop, then I simply reduce it by minus one. If that value is equal to zero, then I also have to pop that value. But if the value at the end of the min stack, the, or the value at the S1 does not equal the value of the min stack, then there is nothing to do here because, hey, this is not the minimum value I'm trying to pop, right? So it doesn't matter. So in this case, I just remove the S1. In our case, the top remains the same, but this one changes. Well, if you want to get the minimum value, the minimum value is simply the one right here. And the value right here is basically minus one zero. So go to the top of the stack and get me the value at location of the val. Now let's see if this works. And I have a few things. Yes, I forgot to add all the self dots. So I'm going to quickly do that. Now let's try one more time. And there we go. We're finished. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and leave any questions in the comment section. Thank you.